Okay, I'm in the lobby of the Merlot. All right, let's do it. I'm hacking in. Look at that. Secrets and lies floating in a cloud of data. I just reach out, pluck it from the sky, and it's mine. It's ours. Stay focused. We got a nasty security system. How much we got? A hundred grand in 30 seconds. God bless the rich and famous. We are the modern day magicians. Siphoning bank accounts out of thin air. Can you hear yourself? <laughs> what was that? Hello. I think someone else is hacking in. Let's take a peek. Let's not. Stick to the plan, Damien. Siphon the accounts and get out. Adventure, my boy. Have faith in your mentor. Something triggered that alarm. Let's find it. Shit. It's scanning the system. I'm almost there. I'm shutting down now. Don't you touch a thing. What the hell is that? We need to abort. We are not done. Help me. Damien, it's over. I'm disconnecting. Maurice. Yeah? You're on. One of our contractors ran a search for the hackers in the Merlot job. You're assigned Aiden Pierce. Take him out. Hit the family if you need to. This guy's hacking days are done. Hit the family? Not a problem? Nope. I'll scare him good. You'll never hear from him again. Gave the order. Come on, I told you. I don't know. You don't know. Hit the family? Not a problem. Nope. I'll scare him good. You'll never hear from him again. So what do you think, Maurice? Did you scare me? It was a job, man. I didn't know. Who was on the other end of the call? Give me a name. They never gave me a name. Yeah, I'll tell your name. Oh. any kids, all right? That wasn't supposed to happen. I want you to think very carefully. Think. Look, man. Even if I knew a name, you couldn't get me talking. These guys... I heard stories, man, they're like nothing you ever seen before. You gotta walk away from this, man. Some things you can't walk please, away from. Please! Please! Who gave the order? I spoke to them on the phone and they told me where to find you! That's all I know, man! That's all I know! Give me a name. I don't know! A name! Kill me, man! Just fucking kill me! How's your memory now? Ugh. 
Shaking, motherfucker. Where the hell you been? What? He's talking to me. I leave you for two minutes. Give me my bullets. I tossed them. Like you said you'd kill him otherwise. I told you to hold on to them, Jordy. Where you been anyway? I had to make a call. And you get what you need from Maurice? Ah, oh, you're kidding me. Let's clean this mess up. Stop admiring your work. Hey, that's cute and all, but I'm disappointed, Pierce. I mean, you failed to spot the nasty inter-gang drama I'm creating here. I don't like loose ends. Let's get him out of here. No, too late. Bottom of the eighth. Chicago's ahead. Game's almost over. We are out of time. <laughs> nice shot. Huh. Come on, you're not just a little interested in my phone call. All right, fine. Tell me about your phone call. Glad you asked. Okay, we got a bunch of dead bodies, right? We got 40,000 people above us. We need a distraction. I called the cops. You did? Oh, yeah. True story. So, cops arrive, and Maurice's little band of brothers arrive, and pow, 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 pow. Jordy, tell me you're joking. No, no, I called them, too. Look, we get a messy altercation at the end of the game. You and I slip away undetected. You'll appreciate the plan tomorrow. Great. Punctual cops. I handle these guys. You grab Maurice, get him out of here. Maurice? What do I look like, a chauffeur? He's the shooter. I'm not through with him yet. Hey. Ugh. Dick. Chicago police! If there's anybody in here, identify yourselves. I got another corpse. Another viceroy. <laughs> Victim of this crime, then. Why'd they have to pick the biggest game of the season to pull this shit? You trying to ruin it for everybody? Squad, we've got two bodies in the basement of May Stadium. Gang bangers. Copy. We're sending Roger the poll now by Jorge Sanova, who ended with an outstanding 15-7 record last season. We're watching an epic confrontation between two old rivals here today, and this game couldn't be any closer. Big base steals on this team with 27 steals this series, but Sonova's watching them like a hawk. Looks like it unlocks that's from the other side. And it, and it looks like... Yeah, that's a foul ball. Roger's not falling for that one. Both men, of course, experts at the mind game. Two on, two out, folks. Something's gonna give soon, and it could go either way. Sonova pitches. That's a big hit! Nope. Quiet here. We've got a known Viceroy in the VIP lounge. We're gonna check him out. Okay, I'm coming up. He's not moving unless I give him a reason.
Hey, you, sir. As if I didn't have enough to worry about. This is yeah, you, bullshit, come here. man. You ain't got no probable cause. We're just talking. Look, I got my tickets right no, here. No, keep your hands where I can hey, see them. this is bullshit. Jay didn't do nothing wrong. Get back now. You're viceroys, aren't you? That ain't illegal, right? Don't get smart. How did you two afford VIP ticket? Mm, bet you makes more than you do. Yeah? Hey, yo, what? Didi, calm down, all right? Don't give him nothing they can use. Something tells me if we run you shit stains through the system, we'll come up with plenty we can use. Bad boy. The police are about to lock this whole place down. I'm stuck unless we create a major distraction. I want to cut the power and slip past them. To the whole stadium? I thought you wanted to keep the vigilante out of the news. Everything's connected to the CTOS with a serious firewall. Right now, I need to get out of the stadium. Can you find me the nearest access point? In the next room. Well, you'll need to find someone with security clearance. Security guard should have access. With all these cops, hey, there's got to be one around. Yeah, I am. You got an evacuation plan, right? Of course we do. Good, we need to get moving on it. We're not going to evacuate 40,000 people so we can play cowboys and Indians. But you got an isolated incident in the basement, yeah, we can close it. the basement. I got no problem with that. This whole place is about to fill up with Chicago PD. That's going to cause... Where are you, Jordy? What? Gone? I'm allergic to cops. So is Maurice. But don't worry, I left you a present. Friend of a friend deals in pre-owned cars. Got a real beauty waiting for you in the garage across the street. Tell you to leave it, and I don't care. Gotta go. That's a lot of sirens for a blackout. Shit, something hit me. We should stay quick. Stand by. We'll bring you back around.
Maybe I lost Maybe my you don't know what you're talking about. Also, fuck you. So finding Maurice was correct. We've gained access to the CTUS back door while the police were being distracted by you. Since we both win in this, we'll share what we have. That back door allows you some access to the CTUS network. I'm still working on something bigger. Give me time.
It's never a dream of her tiny face pressing the window when she knows I was coming over. Or that little wobbly dance she did. It's always the same nightmare. City's full of distractions. They can't hide from me. to thank CTOS one day. Simple breach of their facial recognition software, and I've got access to everyone's personal details. of his call and he's mine. after. <laughs> this guy's close. I can feel it. Hey! We need to talk. There's nothing to talk about. We're done. Deal with You're it. You're so fucking wrong. I'm not done yet. Get I gotta away. stop him now. I'll scream! Oh, I'll teach you. <laughs> not your business. <laughs> You won't bother anyone now. Nikki, hey, I know, I know, the party started. It's almost over. Where are you? I'm on my way. Ugh, you make me crazy. Jackson's really looking forward to it. Get over here. We miss you. I miss you too. I'll be there. Sorry, Nick, I need to take this. I'll, I'll see you soon. Good. You got out. Look, if you need some wheels, give me a call. I'll, I'll set you up. Pre-owned cars? You'd rather register yourself at a car dealer? I don't ask questions. This guy gets me any ride I want. And you, if you need it. I just might. How's Maurice doing? 
Oh, he's all sunshine and buttercups. I'm gonna dump him at my little dumping place. I need him alive, Jordy. Yeah, yeah, alive. Whatever. Goes against your better nature, huh? Well, I'd pop him and be done, but hey, you pay me right, I'll keep him alive as long as you want. I do work for a paycheck. Never in a good mood. Never been a good dude, never looked nice like a clown with a knife. <laughs>